Hi everyone, I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2017 Panini National Treasures Baseball. Two box, half case, pick your team number 16. That's the second half of the case that we popped open. Remember I marked them number 16 right here. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. These are, all the, these are the folks that picked their teams, purchased them straight up. Now you see RNB right here. That stands for random number block. So sometimes, if we just want to move a break along, we pull out those teams and then put them into a different break. So everyone's familiar with our random number block break, so it works just like that, but only for these teams, only inside that break. It's a break inside a break. We'll set that list aside up there. And let's pop this guy open. Let's see what we got. Remember, this is 2017 edition. Pop this open. Pop that open. There we go. And there you go. There was, there was a book in there <laughs> hiding inside. What could it be? What, what could that book be? A multiplayer book? Looks like it's trifold, maybe? Interesting. Okay. We've got Jose Altuve to 15. Astros, Johnny Cannon. Jens, I don't think, I'd be surprised if we find Fernando Tatis Jr. book in, in 2017, National Treasures Baseball. But I have not memorized the checklist. Is he on the checklist? 21 out of 25. That's like a prospect, maybe. This will be a randomizer between Seattle, San Diego, Houston, and Chicago. League leaders. Nice. Who's predicting that there is going to be a Tony Gwynn rally? There it is. We'll uh, put that way over there so we can remind, my, remind me to do that. It was old Carl Ferrillo, 12 out of 25. Piece of that old wool jersey that they used to wear back in the day. Brooklyn Dodges. Daniel Patera. And I remember, I remember scooting up real close to the old wireless to listen to the old Brooklyn, to listen to Red Barber announce those Brooklyn Dodger games. Talk, talking about Carl Ferrillo. Renato Nunez just lived right down the block. Live right down the block. There is Renato Nunez, 69. Nice. Out of 99. Nice one for Tim. And the Oakland Athletics. That's a great patch in there, too. We've got it. There's a Corey Seager. 11 out of 99. Another one for the Dodgers. The Los Angeles Doyers going to Daniel Patera. Ten out of twenty-five. We've got George Springer, colossal relic and autograph. A couple pieces of the bat and the autograph. Has George Spring? I feel like George Springer has escaped a lot of. I guess he was not really involved in it. Like, was he not named? Anyway, Johnny Cannon with the Astros. All right. Antonio Sensatella, 44 out of 49. Rockies. That's going to be for Matthew Stubblefield. Yeah, you're one of the same, Matt? I, I, feel like, uh, I feel like Bregman and, and Altuve seems to be getting the brunt of the, the, the weight of the whole scandal. Nice patch, Matt. Anyway, not my favorite guys. 62 out of 99 triple player material booklet. Whoa! Ken Griffey Jr., Frank Thomas, and Cal Ripken. It's out of 99, so the patches aren't spectacular, but that's a cool book. It's a cool book. That'll be a randomizer between those three teams. Let's pop that up there for a while. 
All right. And second and final box. Good luck, everybody. Wow, is that another triple? Uh, it's another triple. It's another triple, and that one is a one of one. Wow. One happy person, two sad people in that one. All right, Will Myers, 19 out of 25. That goes to the Padres. That'll be for Matt Stubblefield. There's Daniel Murphy to 99. Uh, that's 65 out of 99. That's a number. That's our first number block play, and that's gonna go to once again 65. So. Quentin Carter with number five. There's Giancarlo Stanton. Sixty-six out of ninety-nine. That'll be for the Marlins, Matthew Stubblefield. We got fourteen out of ninety-nine. William McCovey. Piece of his bat. That's gonna go to a number block team. Jack B with McCovey, four. There's, there's Alex Bregman. Doesn't even sign his cards. Cheats and doesn't sign cards. And that goes to Johnny Cannon and the Astros. Um, it's, it expires... Expired last year, but actually Panini's pretty good. But you probably can can scratch that out and still uh, still get that sent off to you. If not, Panini usually does a pretty good job about giving you something in return. It's college rookie material, so it'll be in his collegiate gear. For the Rangers, Mike Napoli, thirty-two out of ninety-nine. That'll be for Jeff and the Rangers. We got Max Kepler. Nice patch, nice autograph. 8 out of 25. That's rookie jersey signatures. They, they popped in a 2016 edition here. Max Kepler. Twins. That's going to go to Phil. Phil Meagle with the Twins. Max Kepler can swing it a little bit. He can get hot. He can go on, to, go on a nice little hot streak. Hit some dingers. Ooh. Colossal. Relic and autograph. Pedro Martinez, Montreal Expos edition. That goes to the Nationals. The Nationals, ladies and gentlemen, are a number block team. And Nationals 4, Jack B. Jack, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! Remember when the Dodgers traded him? Dodgers traded him for, uh, I think, Delino to Shields. Delino to Shields. Should we look at Should we look at that trade really quick? It's a pretty bad trade. Not a. This might be the worst one. It might be one of the worst Dodgers trades in recent memory. Yeah. With the Dodgers in need of a second baseman after a contract dispute with Jody Reed. Jody Reed. God forbid Jody Reed gets into a con. Martinez was traded to the Expo straight up for Delano DeShields. That's it. And then it was with the Expo. Wikipedia says it's the Expos. Uh, where It was with the Expos that the Martinez developed into one of the top pitchers in baseball. 
Remember, they had his brother Ramon Martinez. Yeah, Brian, there you go. Yeah, they had his brother Ramon Martinez, and they were of a similar build. Actually, Ramon, I think, was a little bit... He was still skinny like Pedro, but he was still bigger than Pedro Martinez. And it was like back in the day where there was like, oh, well, small skinny pitchers like that could never pitch 200 innings a season or something like that. So then he just went all Mamba mentality on everybody and Dodgers were like, whoops, we were wrong. All right, triple player, one of one. Who do we got? One happy person, two sad people in the randomized. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. Wow. What, what, can, what, what can you say? What can you say? I mean, there's not that much to say. I think, I think the comments in the chat says it all. Tim Schulte knows it's a family show. Almost dropped the F word. I would have been okay with that. At least just, just one. Brian just, wow. Holy crap. Stephen Kendrick saying holy. You know, Seth. Logan, did Lo Logan, did you call this? Amazing. Insane, says Rex. My God, Stephen Kendra, I don't think Ken can really even believe it. Seth, I know, I was speechless. He's like, I've never seen that before. Joe at a loss for words. <laughs> I should have just fade, faded to black. Just just press stop stream and just be like, the other break we'll do tomorrow. Man. I mean... I thought we pulled some nice stuff tonight, and so I was just like, all right, so, I mean. I thought maybe maybe our luck had dried up with all the nice stuff, but there you go. All right. Pretty amazing. <laughs> Brian Peoples is like, at least someone's hitting nicely. Well, listen. I don't know if you've noticed Brian Peoples. I've not said Stephen Kendrick's name for a little while. <laughs> and he's been joining breaks. So I've made it up to him. Some cold streaks made up made up for him. So that's that's good news. Good news. And maybe we'll cycle back to Brian Peoples getting some big hits too. Alright, let's roll it and randomize it for the last two randomizers seven times. Uh, let's do the triple first. That was the ninety nine. One I said seven, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After seven times, Seattle will get that one. That'll go to Brian Peoples and the Mariners. See, it all starts. It all starts with this. Maybe a little randomizer win here and there, right? And then we kind of build up, build up from there. 
All right, we got the league leaders to 25. Edgar Martinez, Tony Quinn, Craig Biggio, Frank Thomas. All right, one and a six, seven times for this quad relic. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, stays with Seattle. See, Brian Peoples? Brian Peoples with Seattle wins both randomizers. What do you do? Are you, do, you, do you, have, you have a gun to random out over his head, Brian Peoples? There you go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. What a break. Let's take one more look at this. And I'm going to put it away so I don't keep touching this. There you go. Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle, Lou Gehrig. Um, all game used. Mickey Mantle stuff usually is fantasy camp material, but I think the other two are game used. Yeah, that's why Mick, that's why Mix looks a little cleaner. But that's pretty amazing. Babe Ruth might be barnstorming, but but yeah, but the but the Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig are game used materials. That's pretty amazing, right there. So hey, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.